Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree. I just wanted to share my birthday to be readless. And I say my birthday to be readless because I received these books as a gift from my mom on my birthday, but I still haven't read them. So I just wanted to share them in hopes to motivate me to read them. First, there's Happily Ever After by Elise Bryant. I'm going to read the back of each book just to describe what it's about. No, oh, well, I'm going to read the blurb about each book. This one doesn't say it on the back, so I'm going to read the sleeve. 16-year-old Tessa Johnson has never felt like the protagonist in her own life. She's rarely seen herself reflected in the pages of the romance novels she loves. The only place, the only place she's a true leading lady is in her own writing. In the swoony love stories, in the swoony love stories she shares only with Caroline, her best friend. When Tessa is accepted into the writing program of a prestigious art school, she's excited to finally let her story shine. But when she goes to her first workshop, the words are gone. Fortunately, Caroline has a solution. Tessa just needs to find some inspiration in a real life love story of her own. And she's ready with a list of romance novel inspired steps to a happily ever after. Nico, the brooding artist who looks like he walked out of one of Tessa's stories is cast as the perfect Prince Charming. But as Tessa checks off each item on the list, she gets further away from herself. She risks losing everything she cares about, including the surprising bond she develops with sweet Sam, who lives across the street. She's on her way to having her own real life love story, but is it the one she wants after all? And so I'm excited to read this. I really am. It's just, I forgot to mention this. I'm a slow reader. So it takes me a very long time to read books nowadays. And so this is me trying to motivate myself, um, reminding myself what the books are about, recording it to hopefully remind myself, oh yes, let me start checking off some books on the list. So that's one. Then we have People We Meet on Vacation. This is by Emily Henry. This one has a back blurb, so I'll read it from the back. Two best friends, 10 summer trips, one last, one last chance to fall in love. Poppy and Alex, Alex and Poppy. They have nothing in common. She's a wild child, he wears khakis. She has insatiable wander, wanderlust. He prefers to stay home with a book. And somehow, ever since a fateful car share, home from college many years ago, they are the very best of friends. For most of the year, they live far apart. She's in New York City and he's in their small hometown. But every summer for a decade, they have taken one glorious week of vacation together. Until two years ago when they ruined everything. They haven't spoken since. Poppy has everything she should, she should want, but she's stuck in a rut. When someone asks when she was last truly happy, she knows without a doubt that it was on that ill-fated final trip with Alex. And so she decides to convince her best friend to take one more vacation together, lay everything on the table, make it all right. Miraculously, he agrees. Now she has a week to fix everything. If only she can get around the one big truth that has always stood quietly in the middle of their seemingly perfect relationship. What could possibly go wrong? So that's book two that I got as a gift. And the last one is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. And this also has a back blurb. Science fiction, African-American literature. Dana, a modern black woman is celebrating her 26th birthday with her new husband when she is snatched abruptly from her home in California and transported to the antebellum South. Rufus, the white son of a plantation owner, is drowning, and Dana has been summoned to save him. Dana is drawn back repeatedly through time to slave quarters, and each time the stay grows longer, more arduous, 
and more dangerous until it is uncertain whether or not Dana's life will end long before it has a chance to begin. So I'm very curious to read all these books. It's just about taking the time. Let me know if you've heard of any of these books, if you've read any of these books, or if you're now interested in reading one of these books. Thanks for taking the time with me today. And remember, just write. Write your story. Bye.